normal. Gonna, I'm, I'm normal. Okay, am I in focus? Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. Uh, are, we, are we live? Is everybody here? We're live. Everyone's here. Is Carl here? I can't see him. Carl is here. Carl's here. All yeah. right. So welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Two Rights Make a Wrong. That's Russell. That's Daniel. And we've got uh, Carl, Jay, and Lilo back with us. Uh, we are back in the tiny house. Yeah, the tiny house, yeah. The tiny house. So what you got going on today? Not too much. Um, just just chilling. Um, yeah. yeah. What do you have going on? I think you need to apologize to who? The Rock. Why don't I apologize to The Rock? Because you said that Larry the Cable Guy would make a better tooth fairy than The Rock. I mean, I'm sorry, The Rock. If that's... A, hold on, though. <laughs> we'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. Um, you first off said that that was like one of his biggest... You think that was one of his biggest like career mistakes of his life? Yeah, it might be. So then if it's one of his biggest career mistakes, then like... Do you think he's really all that upset that we would think that someone else would be? Because like, because what if they made number two, yeah, and they came back to him like, hey, guess what, The Rock, we're making a number two of the Tooth Fairy, mm-hmm. you win, and he's just like, no, and that's how they ended up with Larry the Cable Guy. So maybe he's totally fine with that. I mean, okay, that doesn't mean he still doesn't regret being in the first one. That's what I'm saying, but but for me to apologize to him. Yeah, but you're still saying that he's better. Like even if he regrets being in it, that doesn't mean he didn't give his all. That's he probably gave his all. The Rock, I am sorry for suggesting suggesting that Larry the Cable Guy may have made a better Tooth Fairy than you. I'm wholeheartedly sorry. I hope you forgive me, and I hope we can still be friends. That was. That was a pretty decent apology. It was. It's a little bit better than your apologies. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's all he needs. Yeah. Um what else is going on? What else what else is going on? Not too much. Um I feel like I'm getting worse at golf. That's probably true. Were you ever good at golf? Well, no, I was never good. So you're just getting really even just you're just bad. Yeah. I, like, I think I was like, like, I was not a decent golfer, but I was better than your average not good golfer. And now I think I'm r- r- right up there amongst the ranks of of terrible golfers. Congratulations. Yeah, no, I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. Okay. So what are you going to do about that? Well, Get, I'm gonna buy new clubs. Is that gonna help you? Probably. I mean, I'm playing with 40 year old clubs that like Dad had custom made for himself. So, yeah, I do think that clubs will help slightly. Okay. Well, let us know how that goes when you get your new clubs. Then I will do. Thank you. Yeah. What's going on with you? Nothing. Nothing. Not a whole hell of a lot. Do you want to play our little word game? Uh, want is a strong word. Lilo, count us down. Three, two, one. Seven. Orphan. You said seven? Yeah, what did you say? Orphan. Orf- orphan. Okay. Seven orphan. Seven orphan. Oh, man. Ready? No. <sighs> um, <laughs> I guess... You're, you guys, you ready? Three, two, one. Adoption. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your word? Do I have a choice? Can I, I just say adoption now and win? No. No, you can't. Just pick a word that's not adoption. Um. Any word. There's so many. Seventh. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Count us down. Three, two, one. I don't know what I'm doing. Race. Here. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> he wasn't ready. The seventh uh, NASCAR. Say NASCAR. The same okay, so word. we got NASCAR. We got race. All right. <laughs> Three. Are you ready? Wait, are you ready? <laughs> oh, sure. I thought we were done. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Tell Daytona five hundred. Okay, I'm I'm aligned with yours. Let's go with yours. Let's just let let's just go with yours, please. I don't know what that means, but okay. And we last episode we talked I mean, about it last you said episode. Talladega Nights, and he's in. He, we're gonna go with we we talked about it last time. Let's just go with yours. He's not gonna say it, guys. <laughs> he's not gonna say it. <laughs> Lilo, please. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ricky Indianapolis. Bobby. <laughs> Three, two, one. Danica Patrick. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. I said Gary. What? All right. L Lilo. Three, two, one. Patrick SpongeBob. Star. Oh, we're so close. There's one other main character. Okay. Please count it down. She. He's your. You, please do not pick Larry the Lobster. Larry the Lobster, okay. Three, two, one. Dauber. Squidward. What did you say? Dahmer? Dauber. Dauber. Who's Dauber? That's the voice actor that played Patrick. Right. Okay. He played Dauber in the show Coach. Yeah. Oh, man. You're just really... You said, what would you say? You said Danica Patrick? I said Squidward. <laughs> Danica Patrick two words ago. Oh, yeah. Squidward. <laughs> Okay. I don't I don't know where to go from here now. I, I didn't know how to start, so well you're not supposed to know how to start. That's the game. Well, and you don't know where to go from here. That's also the game. Okay, Dauber games. You know a game uses a Dauber, right? Wait, where how do we get to games? Well, you're we're talking about a game, like we're playing a game. And then you said the word Dauber. Yeah. So what game used daubers? Just think of that. Keep that in your mind. There's a game that uses daubers. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> Are you ready? Sure. Count us down. <laughs> Three, two, one. Bingo. Russian roulette. Okay, so we're within the we're we're in the same building. Lilo. Are we? In the yes, same we're in the same building. Yes, Lilo, please. What building have you seen that <laughs> plays bingo and Russian roulette in the same place? You guys, are you guys hearing what he's saying right now? You guys are hearing what he's saying. I'm trying to comprehend. And do you, you guys know what we're talking? Do you know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm talking about. What building? You guys know what building has bingo and Russian roulette in it? No, no. Wait, are with, you missing? Are you missing the point of what Russian roulette? Yeah, is? I was like, you know what Russian roulette is, right? Oh yeah, Russian roulette. I'm just thinking of roulette. I'm just thinking of roulette. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. Just I'm sure it's happening in the basement. You play in so Russia. I'm sure it's roulette. happening in the basement. Yes, okay, I know the building. I know the building where both of these exist. Jeez, oh, go. He's. We're not going to say oh. the same thing though. No, we're not. Okay, three, two, one. The Taj Jake Mahal. Saw's basement. Oh, okay, I thought you were going to go somewhere foreign oh man can we just lilo three two one puzzles saw. okay puzzles jigsaw's basement yeah saw 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 i know where to go next okay <laughs> do you yep do i know where you're going next no okay three Let's... <laughs> Three, two, one. The John Princess Kramer. Bride. Just go right now. Lilo. Three, two, one. Anigo Inconceivable. <laughs> Are you taking this 1% serious at all? No. No, okay. <laughs> cool. Okay. At least I stayed in the realm. What are you, you talking did. about? Inconceivable? I said Inigo Montoya. And I said inconceivable. Yeah. Have you seen the movie? Have you? Yeah. 
Do you know who Inigo Montoya is then? Yeah. You okay. killed my father. Prepare to die. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So like, you what know, are you complaining about? You know what Inconceivable is? Yes. Okay. Fine. Let, go. Three, two, one. Andre oh, the jo- Montoya. I thought we were going back to NASCAR. Why? <laughs> Why wouldn't we? We got to bring it back. And you said Andre the Giant? I did. Okay. Lilo. Three, two, one. Wrestling. Vince McMahon. Lilo. Three, two, one. Stay. WWE. Lilo. Three. Why, two, why are you so disappointed? Did like, you say I am, Sting? I did say Sting. But we're supposed to be. So, Russell. So I am actively participating in your game correctly, and you're upset. No, 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 because we're supposed to be finding like a common link to then say these names. You're just saying other people's names. There but is I'm finding we have links, a connection. But I'm finding links. <laughs> right, but you're not finding the links that link them that together. you're not finding. That's the problem with this game. It's supposed to find how two people's brains work differently, and that is what this is displaying. That's not what the point of the game is. The point of the game is to come together and find a common thing between well, the words. That's you're never happened between us. Okay, just, just. Okay. Okay. Lilo. Three, two, one. Porosos. All right, Bert Kreishner. <laughs> I still have yet to try your vodka, and I would like to. So did just, you guys win? Yeah, we won. They yeah, won. that needed to end real quick. That was that. Is, I think one of us definitely won. Bert Kreischer won. Yep. Yeah. Free advertisement. Yep. Anyway. So yeah. So what do you got going on? I do have a question for you. What? So you've never played an Elder Scrolls game? I have played Skyrim. Well, you have. Yes. You play a lot of Skyrim. I've played. 30 minutes of Skyrim. Nope. So you haven't Maybe played like Skyrim. Maybe like an hour 30 minutes of Skyrim. You haven't played Fallout. I have not played Fallout. I've played uh, a S- 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 Starfield. Right. Yep. That, that's not the question I asked you. No, it's not. But I'm, The I'm, third part of the question would be, so why were you so excited for Starfield when you weren't a fan of Bethesda's open world rpgs previously i wasn't so excited for it oh i thought that's the game like you're always constantly saying that you need to play you need to play well i should go back to play because i started playing it yeah and i should go back to playing it there's a lot to do in it but why but why but why that one why are you thinking you should give that one a chance compared to the others is there something about it i'm not trying to be antagonist i legitimately want to know like what is it about starfield it's it, it, uh, you it's, like space? Is that what I do think? like space. It's more shooter esque than the other ones. Um, I, but also the but the main reason why I'm giving it more of a chance is because I've already played it. Okay. So I want to go back to it. I'm not starting something over again. But you've already played Skyrim. Yeah, I have played Skyrim. You should go back to that. However, I, the thing that I've played Skyrim on, and the only reason why I stopped playing Skyrim is because I started playing Skyrim right before I moved into this house and I was playing it on the VR for PlayStation Mm. and I unpacked and I just never set my VR back up. Mm. So that's the only reason why I haven't gone back to Skyrim. Otherwise I did intend to play a lot of Skyrim on VR. I just never set my VR back up. Fair enough. Yep. That's that makes sense then. And I've considered getting Skyrim for the switch that way I can just, because that's so convenient to play. Yeah. It is. But I don't know if it's... Do you have it on Switch? Oh, yeah. Oh, and is it... Does it play well? Just the same. Okay. That's just good. Just the same as the others. Um, Yeah, I actually just started replaying Skyrim again last night. Oh. That's kind of what made me think about it. It was like... Because I, I didn't know you had any other previous uh, experiences with their open world RPGs. Yep, I got, like, I was in the cart at the beginning of the game and got out of the cart, went around a little bit. I'm pretty sure I died, like, six times. And then, yeah, I really didn't advance in the story at all. 
I jumped off a ledge that I'm pretty sure I've jumped off a hundred thousand times in that game, and I died last night, and it really surprised me. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it was really kind of jarring, actually. So, so when you play through Skyrim, yeah, do you do you do different things? Yeah, you do. Okay, and mm-hmm. but is there is there a singular main story to Skyrim? There's multiple. So there's multiple stories, and do you play through all the stories every time, or no. is it like you, if you choose one, you can't play the other ones? You can play all of them. This isn't like Morrowind, where like let's say you enter the Warriors Guild, now you're a warrior. You okay. cannot go to the Mages Guild. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this one you can do all of the major quest lines. You can do anything and everything all at the same time. There is nothing that blocks out anything else in a quest line. Uh, aside from accidentally somehow killing the NPC that is required to do that quest, then it's just obviously like now you can't finish. Okay. Glitched out. But other than that, yeah, there's actually a ton of stuff. Even though I've technically what is considered platinum the game, like for the platinum trophy on the, on the PlayStation, um, I have actually – there's still stuff in the game that I've technically never done. Right. And is it because you just – don't care to do those things well it's just a lot of the things are very very large like quests like one of the ones that i've done recently that i've never done before was the stones of baron zaya quest oh yeah so um yeah but anyways there's 24 23 or 24 gems and they're just hidden throughout the entire world and there's no map marker for them so there's no quest. It doesn't tell you where they are. And is that... So is, I have a question for you, though. Mm-hmm. And this actually might be... An, because, Carl, have you done this quest? Mm-hmm. You didn't pay attention. The Stones of Baron <laughs> Zaya. <laughs> yeah, have you done the Stones of Baron Co. Island? Oh, yeah. Or whatever it's yeah, called in the Skyrim? Zaya. You've done it? Yeah. Okay, so I have a question for both of you. Yeah. Because you said it had no map markers. Mm-hmm. You just got to find them. Mm-hmm. Is it? Do you think that's easier or harder than finding the nine hundred Korok seeds in Breath of the Wild slash Tears of the Kingdom? Easier. Easier. Yeah, there's okay. twenty three of, the of them. Breath of the Wild is so much bigger. Well, and I understand that, like, there's yeah. So Breath of the Wild is so much bigger, and I understand that there's only twenty three. But the reason why I was thinking that it might be harder is because you just don't stumble across them, and there's not really a pattern that you find. There where, is because you you can look at a place in Breath of the Wild and be like, "There's going to be a Korok seed there." There is also right? there is also something to say about like the placements of them yeah. in that in that regard. Some of them are a lot easier to find. It's but- for the most part, like let's say, There's let's say so for all intents and purposes, you have all of the map unlocked, okay, with the exception of the fact that it takes forever to collect nine hundred of something. Yes. All of the stone, almost all of the stones of Baron Zaya, I can click the point, the, this town, I can go there, and then I just go to the building where the stone is. Or the cave, or wherever it is, it's a map marker well, that one. I can fast travel to, um, as opposed to like Breath of the Wild. Most of those are not on top of your fast travel points, okay. right? Like you have to go outside, discover they're in a tree. You have to climb up this mountain, yada yada yada. Right. Like do a slight puzzle, you okay. know. Like I wasn't sure how difficult they really made finding these twenty three stones. It's it's not difficult well, in one like, of them. Really annoying. There's I think one or two of them that well, used to be the locked. elven one, the high elf. One. Yeah, that one used to be locked. What where you could it get was, soft locked out of. Yeah, yeah. There day, used yeah. to be a there. There used to be one where it was only in this one specific spot that you could only get to during a specific mission. And outside of that mission, you can't get there because it's an embassy, okay. uh, the Thalmar Thalmer Embassy. Um, and once you're done with the mission, if you didn't get it, you couldn't go back. Okay. But they've changed that. They updated it. It is now if you do miss it, you can find it in a in a cave, okay. a very specific cave. Makes sense. So then, then that was going to lead into my next question: Are there any stones other than this one now 
where if you do the wrong thing, it's gone forever and you can't get it and you cannot complete the quest. No, that's that's pretty much it. The only other way that can happen is if somehow you accidentally drop it. Oh, and you can drop like you can drop one in like a volcano and then it's just gone. Well, or on the ground, yeah. And, and then you, you forget to, to, that you didn't realize you didn't pick it up or anything, yeah. Oh, but if I you drop it, I think it on still the... counts towards the quest, though. I think you just need to collect them, not keep yeah. them. Okay, maybe that could be. Okay. I don't exactly so know. So, more on that point, if you're, all you're talking about is, like, doing it to get the rewards, you technically only need to get about 450 Korok seeds. Yes, to get the all the, the weapon the slots. Yeah. And then, to yeah, you get the other, because like, no 500, really and you get poop. cares about the golden poop. Just completionists, yeah. yeah. That's really it. Because I'm not a completionist, so, like, I don't think I'll ever care to get all 900 of them. Mm-hmm. But, and that's um, fair. Yeah, that's very fair. Has anyone do? You, has anyone speed run Breath of the Wild 100%. to one hundred percent? Yes, completion. Yes. What's the time? Ugh. I want to say it was like twenty six hours. I say I thought it but was... he slept during that. That was small ant, right? Does he pause? Well, the I don't timer? know if he has the world record, but oh, yeah. he, small ant has done a run of D- it. Does he pause the timer when he sleeps or no? No. Okay, continue. Sorry. No. Yeah. Interesting. So. <clears throat> this time around, I think I might collect the dragon masks, oh. which is something I've never done. All right. Does that do something for you? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, there's no trophy for it, so I just never ended up going for them. Do you care about trophies on your? machine uh sometimes okay i wanted i used to be like i kind of used to think i was like i'm really excited about getting a platinum but more it's not even it's more like there are some games i'm excited to like look at the trophy list or achievement list and see like okay there's certain things i can try to accomplish some games i don't i don't care i just don't care like, to be fair, in this day and age, I would not care about doing something like that for Starfield. Okay. But Ratchet and Clank, yeah, I'd probably do it for Ratchet and Clank. Okay. Um, so, I, 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 Ratchet, I platinum the first Ratchet and Clank remake. That was amazing. Cool. Mm-hmm. That's good. When did they remake that? Like six, seven years ago, it was on the PS4. Oh, okay. It was like a launch title for the PS4. Oh, really? All right. And kind of like how they have the new one. The, the sequel to that one was one of the launch titles for the PS5 here. No. Oh. Rift Apart. Okay. It's crazy how much money these game companies just make off of remaking games. Well, that one was is like a complete remake. Oh, so they didn't just. So like, it was essentially like. A, like number seven or something like that okay. was like a legitimate remake like it's not a re- it wasn't a remaster yeah so this is what everyone keeps talking about um twilight princess and um wind waker being like a bundle game for the switch mm-hmm. they're not gonna bundle that because people will spend 60 dollars on each game well it depends on what they do I'm. I if still. They, if they remaster it, then no, they won't do it. If they don't remaster it, they probably will. But I still think that if they didn't remaster it, they could still put it on their own games, and people would still spend sixty dollars on each game. Yeah, they could, but I don't think they will. Mm. I think the, they like to do those bundles. Yeah, Nintendo really likes that. But are you excited to do play um, as Zelda for the first time? I am. That's cool. I'm very excited about that game. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. Yeah, that Nintendo Direct from a few weeks ago was really kind of lit. Actually, I don't. I didn't watch it. I just watched the main things that they like announced. Kind of like the highlights of it. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think that Metroid Prime Four will be coming out on the Switch that we have now? Yeah. Or do you think it will be coming out on the next iteration of the Switch? No, it says it's coming out on this Switch. I mean, In fact, I think it has a release date. Okay. Wasn't it supposed wasn't Metroid Prime supposed to come out on the Wii U originally? Uh, Metroid Prime 4 was probably supposed to come out on the Wii. Okay. So yeah, so just because they say it's going to come out on this Switch doesn't mean it's Okay, to come be out. fair, that was always a rumor. 
That was never like a. That was never Nintendo saying we're making Metroid Prime Four. Well, I thought they did say that they was, were making it. That was the Wii U era. That was them going, "Hey, we made Metroid Prime Three with an open end." But th- so the, did they? Did they actually say it will be launching on the Nintendo Switch, like the current Nintendo Switch, or did they just say that? It I is think it said it's coming out this year in December eleventh. Is it coming out this year? Yeah, I thought it was twenty twenty five. Or I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it has a release date. But I don't think they'd show us a Switch Two preview when they haven't told us what the Switch Two is yet. I mean, it's possible, but I don't think they would. I don't know. Because like. I, I don't know. There's no guarantee that it's a Switch 2. I mean, they showed us a Breath of the Wild preview before they showed us what a Switch was. Yeah, but we knew that wasn't coming out on the Wii U or the 3DS. Well, it did come out on the Wii U, technically. It yeah. doesn't have a release date. Oh, it doesn't? It just says 2025. Oh, so okay. it is next year, though. Because so. yeah. I can't imagine that we're not going to get a Switch 2 by next year. Well, I think uh, we're, it's supposed to be yeah. third or fourth quarter of 2025. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I didn't mean by next year. I meant I don't think we're not going to have one next year. I think we will have one next year. So, yeah. It's but, most uh, likely going to come out before Christmas. And See, but like, has, has, have they ever released Nintendo? Like, in the last like four or five consoles, have they released any of them? during the holidays they always release them in like march or something like that i don't know i don't know what the pattern of their release dates are because i feel like they release them in in like march whatever after the holidays because they're not competing with anyone else the switch was released on march 3rd but the wii u was released november 18th okay because i bought i bought the wii because the wii was in march too i think because I bought the Wii the day it came the out. The Wii was and November. I, oh, was it? Oh. November 19th. Okay. Because I bought the Wii the day it came out, and I bought the Switch the day it came out. I don't think I've ever bought a console the day they came out. And I got the Xbox One, the original Xbox One the day it came out. Those were the only ones I got the day the day came out. So, yeah. Okay. 30-minute so. warning. What the heck was that, though? <laughs> Just, okay. Just some stupid fireworks. Don't mind. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess now that we're awake. Yep. Um. What else? It looks else? so annoying. What else you got? What What do you have now? Nothing really. Oh. Um. Say, bring up a ridiculous thing that we should try to figure out. <laughs> I think he just did. He just threw an entire box of snappers on the ground. How many snappers would it take to defeat the sun? (laughs) (laughs) Um, The rest of this box, I'm deciding. (laughs) All right. Sorry, I'm just like, my favorite part was, and I'm not assuming how you felt, but you just looked so annoyed. (laughs) No, our dogs are terrified of fireworks. Oh, I'm sh- I I'm shocked. There dogs upstairs. I'm shocked that they didn't start barking. I'm absolutely shocked that that didn't wake them. You know up what? That's start- fair. I yeah. officially give my. I'm awarding myself the the devil of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel gets a point taken away. Uh, Gryffindor, you lose one point. <laughs> one hundred thousand points from Gryffindor. You like Harry Potter? No. Have you watched it? No. Have you read them? I tried. <laughs> Oh, you did try to read them. Mm-hmm. Okay. You watched Game of Thrones? I tried. Did you read them? No. Um, and you didn't get into Game of Thrones? Eh. Okay. Is there any, like, fantasy show like that that you do enjoy? Not Lost. Do not bring up Lost. Lost? <laughs> I like Lost. Um, One Piece. No, that doesn't count. Like a live action show. One Piece. I suppose they do have a live action show. Yes, they do. They do have one. It was pretty good. All right. Um, um, I don't know. Do, uh, no, not really. I don't think so. I mean, animes. I just I got anime. Like live action? No, I don't really like live action stuff. No, oh, okay. I'm not a big fan of English speaking media. All right. But yet, some of your favorite things are English speaking, live action stuff. 
Cool. And that's what I got to say about Such that. Such a weeb thing to say. Like, what's a weak thing to say? Weeb. Weeb. What is a weeb thing that to say? That he doesn't listen to English media. Yeah. It is kind of a weeb thing to say. What's a weeb? It's a weeaboo. It means he's way too into Japanese culture. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the, like the Japanese word some, for something like that. Oh, there's um do you like sushi yeah do you yes there's a what i've never seen I'm not you, you. i've never seen you eat it i don't know um there is a sushi and sumo uh event coming to chicago okay what is a sushi like is you just eat sushi while watching sumo absolutely i don't know if i want to do that there's also sake huh guessing there's also sake yeah i i believe there is yes mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's really cool. It you looks know, really cool. The, three S's the last thing that I want to think about when I'm putting raw fish in my mouth is fat, sweaty men. I'm I don't just see saying. the correlation. Yeah, I don't get the correlation either. It's just not something I want to do. I don't want to put. I don't want to put. So you don't in. eat at sporting events. No. You just don't go to sporting events. That is true. <laughs> Because everyone eats at sporting events. When was the last sporting event you went to? I don't know. Was it within the last decade? You're going to say a couple years ago. Do you know what <laughs> a sport is? I know a couple. I know what a couple sports. All right. Um, last sporting event I went to, it would have been a Brewers game. All right. How long ago was that? A couple years ago. A while ago. All right. Cool. And do you enjoy going to them? Because there's certain sports that you follow. Mm-hmm. You like hockey teams. Mm-hmm. So it's, a, but like you just don't, you like a hockey team, but you won't watch it. I'd go to a, I mean, so, I mean, to go to an Anaheim Ducks game, that takes a little bit of work sometimes, you know. Uh, but uh, hockey is way better to see in person than baseball is. I'll tell you that much. It's correct. Um, baseball, like I like listening to baseball. That's interesting. Yeah, which I don't know if that's going to change once Bob Euchre is officially dead. So you don't even necessarily like listening to baseball. You like listening to Bob Euchre. Yeah, he could talk about anything, and you'd enjoy listening to it. Yeah, maybe. All right, that's possible. Cool. I I do I do like listening to arbitrary conversation i like i'm a big fan of things like that like this i get that because like one of my favorite youtubers to watch is a uh, former usc fighter chael sonnen um yeah. and he primarily just talks about the up-to-date you know stuff going on in the usc and mma he's really 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 good at talking about basically nothing for 10 minutes and keeping you interested in it somehow yeah Sounds like the Pat McAfee show. Like we need to... Uh, Just the football version of that. <clears throat> we need to take lessons from them. Take lessons from them. Yep. What the heck? Take lessons from them? Lessons. Lessons. Okay. Well, if you're thinking that I misheard you, I said it twice and you still and you were still agreeing with what I was saying. So you because also I misheard me. No, I was saying lessons to me. I'm like, what know. the heck? Listens. Um, all right. Let's let's do that. Let's take lessons. I don't need lessons. I don't. I don't think either. Oh, of us I are. forgot what we were talking about. Yeah, maybe we should take lessons. Too great. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it was it was a Brewers game. It was the last sporting event I went to. All right. Cool. And yeah, some sports are better to watch in person than not. It's true. You know. Like, seeing the difference on a pitch is kind of not the easiest to do when you're in row 48, section F, you know. That's, like, right behind home plate, man. No, it's not. That's a great, that's a great spot. No, it's not. I don't know. Yeah, if you're, if you're, you're only in the double digits, man, you're practically on the field. <laughs> I Like, I also get what you're saying, too. You're just, like, it, like. You know, it, like TV has that, you know, it's zoomed out into a certain point or whatever, as, lo- as well as like the, you know, the visual components of like, 
use like the rectangle where it's supposed to land and versus where the ball. Yeah. Well, I think I think football would be absolutely boring to watch in person. Oh, I disagree. See, I could I think I could watch football if I was into football and in per, into person because I understand what's going on. See, but I but I guess also let me let me rephrase this. I think football would be a boring sport to watch in person. The better your seats are, because if you're sitting one two rows back in near one end zone on a sideline you're not watching half the game right that's gotta suck well i think the type of people that sit in the end zone aren't there to be watching the game necessarily no, they're the type that got there three hours early to get as drunk as they possibly can okay yeah. that's good just so i've never been to a negative five degree weather with their shirts off just so they nfl can game is man. like the only sport like that i haven't been to i have not been to an nfl game i've been no, to i think that's the only one I've cared about. I've technically been to a basketball and a baseball game, but I didn't love them at all. So like baseball, I go They're to baseball games for me. like socializing. I think that's fun. Like because you don't necessarily need to pay attention to every second of the game either. So like tailgating base. Yeah, like you're just tailgating and then you continue tailgating in the inside of the the stadium because it's like if you missed like three pitches, it's like, oh big deal. Nothing Yeah, that's my experience with going to baseball games is most of the time we're not even watching the game. Yeah, but you know what's crazy though? What's the the most exciting baseball game to watch? A no hitter is the baseball game where nothing happens. Is a no hitter mm-hmm. like nothing is happening in that game, but yet you're so excited to be watching that because you're like seeing history. I don't know if I'd be excited to see it in person. Yeah, I mean people. Again, that's like one of those. It's just kind of a boring thing. I mean, I guess it, I guess if it's one of like if it's a perfect game, like if it's a perfect game, then that would be that'd be something to see actually. Yeah. I've been to both a tie and a shutout in the NFL game. I've been to live games for both of those That's cool. scenarios. That's cool. Both against the Vikings. Nice. Who are playing them? It was Packers versus Vikings. Oh, okay, for both. I so, want to go to a UFC. Event. That could be fun. That would be amazing. They're never very close to us, though. No. Um, but, but I went that's to. Besides the point. The last sporting event I went to though was a Blackhawks versus Golden Knights game. We're living in a pipe dream here, Carl. Sorry. Well, yeah, but uh, yeah, there was there was literally one one UFC event that happened. And Milwaukee. we have quite a few fighters from Wisconsin, from Milwaukee even. Yeah. And the, the surrounding Milwaukee area, like uh, one of them's from Hartford. I was gonna say I know. Um, uh, I can't remember who it is. I know he's bald. There's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know he's there's, bald. Um, you know, the Pettis brothers, both uh, all three of them from Milwaukee. There's Ben Rothwell, who's from Kenosha. Rose. Rose Namajunas. She's from, from Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Um, like She's they, the champ. Off, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, I could be wrong about Ben Rothwell, but they were all champions, too, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. So let's go to a UFC match next time they're in town. Maybe. Yeah, or the next best thing, we could go to sumo and sushi. Going. I'd have to see, like, is it, like, who's what? sumoing? I don't know. Sumo wrestlers. Do you think I know any of that? But back to what I was saying, though. Um, but I was uh, I went to an NHL game and it was just, I took Dad for mm-hmm. our Christmas his Christmas gift and it was the first game that I had ever been to and it was the first game he had ever been to. But being our first NHL game, it went into overtime and it went into a shootout. So that was pretty cool for our first experience. That was pretty awesome. But yeah. But um, other than that, yeah. You got anything else for today? No, not necessarily. All right. I guess I do have one more question for the both of you. So, like, and there was, like, I feel like there was talk or whatever. I'm not sure if it was specifically specified. Personally, for the both of you, worst sport to watch live? Baseball. Baseball. Oh, maybe golf. 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 No, I I do enjoy watching golf. Well, yeah, we, uh, I feel like that was a given at this point. I honestly think that soccer is one of the worst sports to watch. No, I think yeah. I think I think. In fact, you're the one that pointed out what to make it playing. fun. How to make it fun? Did I talk about this? I don't know. How to if, make soccer fun? Yeah. If Ronaldo's on the field, like it's exciting, man. That no, you once upon a time things. showed us. I think this was like the World Cup, circa. I don't know what years the World Cup happened, but it probably was around like 2010. 
Yeah. Somewhere around there. Like, I think you were in college, maybe not quite in college yet. Yeah. Um, and, and I want you to say it, and I'm going to agree with you, and but then I'm going to rebuttal why this is not why this is not true, and I'm going to so go with it. But you uh, you turned us on to the fact of watching soccer and fast forward. Yes, and it's awesome. It looks yeah. hilarious because I, because tr- everything kind of looks the same because the camera was so far out. So like you got the people running, and they just look like they're running, but you got the ball, and the ball looks like it's. Thunk, thunk, thunk. It just yeah. looks like it's a hundred pounds. This is yes, it looks this way is, funnier. This is what I would do. But and then I turn it, and then once it gets close to the goal, I put it on regular speed so I can see what's happening at regular speed. Oh, I don't need to see that. See, but the thing, the reason why I'm saying that I disagree with, I mean, this is all true statements, but you can't do that if you're watching it live. I think there is so much in soccer. I I like soccer. I enjoy playing soccer. I I do like it, but there is so much just. Poof, Were you asking poof. us of which one we like to watch live? Yes, that's what the question yeah. was. Live but personally for the both of you, like you. So you said baseball. I think I think it would be soccer. And you're going with soccer. I mean, out of sports that I actually, I guess, out of sports I actually enjoy. Yeah, golf would definitely be the worst. I would say it would be, but like swimming, like I don't enjoy swimming, so like that's not fun for me to watch at all. So I'm gonna like I could say swimming. I could say the Tour de France. I could say like there's a lot of things that I just don't care about and I don't enjoy. Tour that de I think France is the same as golf, in my opinion. It's the same as watching golf live, like. I don't get through the sport. And now it's done. Now we all have to walk fucking 400 meters for the next thing to see. Or in the Tour de France, like we literally have to be moving constantly to watch that race live. I mean, you can watch it live on TV. Yeah. That's not what I thought we were talking about seeing it live. Is this in person or just live? They're not paying attention. They're on their phones. They died. I guess on that we're gonna end this episode no. because they're not even paying attention to the question they asked us. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Con- I don't right, consider no, the sports was, though. So I got my apologies. I got distracted because I wanted to bring up. I don't know if either of you have seen this, the video of there's three pro soccer. It was basically this event in Jap- Japan that happened where it was three pro soccer players versus a hundred kids. Yeah. <laughs> and like, the three pros just absolutely annihilated. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's is that that's the video you saw because I've actually like I've seen a video where they had young men face off against a woman's national team. No, yeah, this was this was I think this was the young men won. I think this yeah. was a high school men's like, yeah. team, and it wasn't the best high school men's team in the world. It was just a high school men's team, just one of them played against United States. I don't remember which, team but it was, it was a good team. It was a good team. It was a good women's team, and it was a national team, and it they was a team they sure. lost like fifteen to zero. Yeah, no, I I don't I, I didn't see that one, but I definitely did see three pro soccer players versus a hundred kids, and the three pro soccer players annihilated the. Kids. But like one of the things I, wanna, I don't like about can we soccer, see things like that in more sports. Like, can we see that in like <laughs> UFC? Can we but see kids getting annihilated? Like just just more? Oh well, that's what I like about in the Nate NFL Diaz when they get all the mascots first, like, together during like the, the Pro Bowl or whatever. They get all the mascots together and they play against a bunch of children. Oh. So it's a, it's a line of the mascots and the mascots just like absolutely just like shove these children out of the way. It's Have you great. ever seen it's that hilarious. movie, Mascots, mascots vs. Midgets? No, no, I've never seen Mascots vs. Midgets. This is a movie. Yeah, it is. What's it on? I don't know. Come on, I need I need the deets. I don't know. I saw it on DVD. Oh, DVD. Is that even a thing anymore? But that's how long ago I saw it. All right. I'm going to look that up. Yeah, mascots. You saw it so long ago it was on DVD. <laughs> I saw it so it long ago. It had to have been long were... ago because I don't know if you should be even saying that word say, if you still want to be No, it's dwarves now. They're still saying yeah. No, dwarves. no, no, no. no. But I'm just going to say that midgets and dwarves are two completely different things. I think it's little people. I think we don't say I think, But M-word. I think they're all encompassed under little people. But No, I don't think we say M. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're supposed M-word. to say that no, yeah, I don't. Especially if you want to be monetized on this. I'm not sure if this would be a demonetization. Yeah, I can look it up. I mean, we'll find out. Let's become monetized. Use the midget word all the time and then see if they demonetize us. <laughs> you don't say it like that. You say the M word. No, I don't, I don't I don't think it's that big of a deal. It kind of is. Is it really? Yes. All of it is. All of the little people out there, can you let me know? Is it that big of a deal? Is it? Yeah, I don't think they like that word anymore. It's like okay. calling. I, I mean, think it's a. It's but then there's people who build into it because we had this. We had this place down the road uh, called the Brower House, that flipping hosted 
Midget Wrestling. They called it that. Well, that was a branding, and they are allowed to do that. It'd be like some of our rapping friends saying certain words that me and you are not allowed to say. Like what words? Oh, you know. We're not. <laughs> we're not doing that. Apparently, I don't. Yep. <laughs> right. Like nerf herders. Only we can say that word. This has been two rights make a wrong. <laughs> Do you know what a nerf herder is, though? <laughs> Do you know where nerf herder is from, Russell? Yeah. I was sorry, right, because I was sure about to be like, Lilo is the two niggas people. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I was, I was serious.